Hi, my name is Brianna. And I'm Stephanie, and we're registered nurses at the MGH Diabetes Center. We are going to teach and demonstrate how to use different types of glucagon. Glucagon is a medication that is used to treat severe hypoglycemia. Glucagon is appropriate for someone with diabetes who takes insulin and is unresponsive or unable to consume food or drink by mouth. It is typically given by a bystander, family member, friend, someone that has witnessed the hypoglycemic event. The goal of glucagon is to raise blood sugar rapidly. How to use an emergency kit. Glucagon is injected into the muscle. It is important that family members and loved ones know how to use glucagon and when it is appropriate to use it. Glucagon comes in a kit. Inside the kit you'll find a vial with powder medication, a syringe with liquid solution in it, and step-by-step -step instructions on how to use it. First step is to remove the cap from the vial and place the vial on a flat surface. Next, remove the safety mechanisms from the syringe. Insert the syringe into the vial. Push the liquid from the syringe into the vial by use of the plunger. With the needle still inside the vial, swirl the solution around until the medication has dissolved and the solution is clear. Flip the syringe upside down so the vial is on top. Pull or withdraw all the solution out of the vial into the syringe. You may need to pull the needle to the top of the vial to remove all of the solution. You are now ready to inject the glucagon. Areas of injection include the back of the arm, the thighs, and the buttocks. Hold the syringe in your hand like a dart and insert the needle at a 90 degree angle and insert the solution into the muscle. For demonstration purposes, we are using this training injection cushion. Remove the needle and place back into the container. How to use Baxemi, which is a nasal glucagon. Normally a new dose would come with shrink wrap on it, but since this is a demo kit, it does not have it. When you're ready to use, remove the tube from the package and remove the shrink wrap by pulling on the red strip. Open the lid and remove Baxemi from the tube. Hold the device between the finger and the thumb. Do not push on the plunger. Insert the tip into the nostril gently and push the plunger until the green line is all the way in. Throw away the device and the tube once you're done using it. Next, we're gonna talk about GVO, which is a pre-filled glucagon syringe. First, you wanna pull the cap off the needle and pinch the areas which you will be inserting, which will be the lower abdomen, the thigh, or the upper arm. Insert the needle at a 90 degree angle and push the plunger down to inject. Here are some important safety measures. After 15 minutes of giving glucagon, glucagon should start to work. If the patient does not become alert within that time, you should call 911. If a person is unconscious, roll them to the side to prevent choking because glucagon can sometimes cause nausea and vomiting. Recheck blood sugar every 15 minutes to ensure blood glucose has come back within normal range. Once the individual has reached their blood sugar of at least 70 milligrams per deciliter, after 15 minutes, you want to frequently monitor their blood sugar every 30 to 60 minutes for the next three to four hours to make sure they are staying in a range above 80 milligrams per deciliter. If the blood sugar is still below 70, 15 minutes after giving the glucagon injection, but the patient is able to swallow, follow the 15 gram of fast acting carbohydrate rules. So give four ounces of juice, six ounces of regular soda, followed by a snack with protein like crackers with peanut butter or cheese. Contact your healthcare provider to inform them of your severe hypoglycemic event. If you are a friend or a loved one of a person with diabetes, learn where the person keeps the glucagon kit and how to use it.